On this episode, Mariah officially kicked off Christmas at the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. And she's teaming up with Peloton for her own artist series. So stay tuned to hear all about it. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for joining us for another episode. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps the show grow. And hit the bell icon for alerts for new episodes. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we have rested and recovered from the Thanksgiving break. And we're here to catch up on all the Mariah Carey news that we missed. I know. it's It's been so long since we've been over here reporting. But so much has happened. We're covering a lot this week. Yeah, we're going to stick to the majors and then try to slip in some of the little stuff. But if uh, we miss anything, you can always join our Patreon page or we'll catch up next week, you know, yes, this time. Absolutely. Or leave a comment under the YouTube video, like what we missed, because there's so right. much. There's all kinds of little things happening. Yeah. But we have to get right into the show. So should we just pick up where we left off? Yeah, why not? Holiday season, honey. I know. So we knew Mariah was going to be a part of the thanks Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, the, the word on the street was she was going to be the opening act for Santa, which I guess was kind of true, right? I mean, do you think I've ever even watched the parade in full? <laughs> 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 I don't know how things work over there at the Macy's Day Parade. I don't. I cannot tell a lie. I cannot tell a lie. Um, but I think she opened for Santa. Like Santa was like right over there. She waved to him at the end. So right, that, yes, that's opening for him. That's fine. Well, I think that the tradition, from what I gather, is that the parade happens. Float, float, floats go by, and then the final float is Santa arriving at Macy's, and now it's Christmas. Okay, that makes sense. And so Mariah was there to greet him. Yes. And she's, she's saying, all I want for Christmas is you. And then he came by on the float and she said, hey, Santa. That's right. right? Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so she did open for Santa. All right. Okay. So, of course, she did uh, All I Want for Christmas is You, uh, the classic, obviously. Um, but we have to talk about her look, first of all. She was mm -hmm. full on gown gorgeous. I loved it. Yeah. Okay. Gownalicious, a little um, see-through-ish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it was giving me without, With You vibes from the AMAs. Okay, yes. I'll, the big I'll dress, big train. Mm -hmm. You know what it was giving me? What? <laughs> what, what is it giving you? It was giving me Golden Globes 2018. Oh, yes, that. It was, and then mm -hmm. AMAs had a baby. Yes, this dress. yes, yes. Okay. Now, this dress was designed by Christian Seriano. Um, mm -hmm. So fabulous. We love him. I've loved him since Project Runway days. So, and he's, uh, you want to talk about gowns? He, he can do gowns, a gown. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, th I thought she looked lovely. Oh, a very nice Christmas dress. Beautiful. Yeah. I loved it. And I like she had the uh, crown, the tiara. She's doing tiaras now. She's doing the ti tiara era. Do you was at home wearing the tiara for the crown Netflix? Oh, yeah. Screening. She's giving us a lot of tiara. She is. All right. Listen, I don't know where you get a tiara. <laughs> I think the jewelry ones, store. Especially ones with real diamonds. But yeah. she's got them. So, <laughs> she, so you may as well wear them. I guess. I mean, why not? No, I thought it was cute. I think the whole look was great. Fabulous. Cute look. A stand and sing moment. That's what she does. Yeah. Now she has a need bit her. of a... Um, a of umbrella but really it's a parasol yeah it's, it's now i think that was more for sun protection now hold on a minute it was not very sunny from what i could see but was it raining it wasn't raining either. i don't think it was raining either so i think there could be other subtle hints <laughs> or subtle shade if you will with the parasol but it looked great it was you think it was a shady moment i think maybe because we know mariah loves shade but who's she shading at people who aren't the queen of Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, but we'll, we'll never know. But that, that parasol was very cute, and it was custom made. It was a hot topic as well. Yes, everybody was loving it. Yeah. It all oh, not loving it. People were bent out of shape as well. Oh, were they? I didn't really hear anybody being bent out of shape. I heard a few like, what's up with that? Oh. Well, she's a diva, honey. I wasn't mad at the umbrella. No, me neither. I thought it was a cute little thing. 
it was giving me um, a little bit of like, I don't know, like Alice in Wonderland, Candy Cane Land, surrealism. Like it was kind of kooky. Uh, yeah, well, what? nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's very camp. Camp. It's camp. very camp. It's yes. very high drag. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And Mariah knows how to do that very well. So I think it was perfect for like this, for like the Thanksgiving, you know, it's like all like, I think it fit well. Yeah. Well, I have a little, I got a little tidbit about the umbrella. Oh, please tell. Uh, one of our listeners sent it in. I forgot their name. So thank you for sending it in. But according to NOLA.com, the New Orleans local paper down there. Oh. Mariah Carey's sparkly umbrella in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade is a bedazzled custom umbrella from Bella Umbrella. Ooh. And had more than 2,000 crystals and costs $900. Honey. If you want one. Uh huh. No wonder. FYI. All right. We love. Okay. So they, so she got it from a umbrella. A local business. Down there. Down there. All right. In New Orleans. Look at Mariah. Mm -hmm. yes. Supporting local business. Honey, you must. You must. Yeah. Where else are you going to get an umbrella like that to be fabulous? It's, it seems very New Orleans esque, oh. that umbrella. There, I thought it was super cute. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we also had a moment with Dem Babies or Dem Kids popping They're in part the box. of the act. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, did, was it just me or did it look like Rocky did not want to be there? I thought like he, he, was, he did not have the energy, was not matching Miss Monroe. Miss Monroe was like serving and Rocky just pops out the box and he's just like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's just, you know, going along. Listen, Rocky. Monroe. You want to live in this house? You're going to sing. <laughs> sing and dance. You better, sing, you better dance. You better pop out of that box yes. with some gusto. It's a family business. Get, get with it, Rocky. It is a family business. <laughs> it really, really is. So I don't know. I thought it was cute that the kids were there and they had a little moment. Yes, honey. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I wasn't bent out of shape. No, I didn't no, really no. notice Rocky not being into it. I thought they were both into it. I mean, it's just me nitpicking on other people's oh. children. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Pay no attention to me. Um, okay, let's address the lip sync situation. If you don't know yet, I feel like we've said this a thousand times, you have to lip sync at, this th at these things. You have to. Yes, exactly. Everybody does it. Just logistically, you're not able to do live vocals on all of that. It's just too much. Right. <clears throat> These people are more concerned with making sure the floats are moving down the street and then big mm -hmm. old balloons aren't popping mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. getting blown away. People being blown away because, you know, the people have to like hold them big balloons down. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they don't have time to worry about a sound check. Not only that, but you have to like set up sound as in like run cables install them install a device get the man do all the things yes as soon as that parade is over that is cleared out and traffic is back like they don't have right. time to set the yeah, stuff they up they can't set this up like it's a concert right it's just too much it's just not doable right so exactly. that's just that's just how it works people yeah. So I will hear no so, I will hear no bashing of the lip syncing because you know my favorite girl over there, my forever your girl Paula Abdul was over there lip syncing for her life mm -hmm. all off track. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she I love Paula and she I'm glad she was there, but like even her tap dance was a track and she was oh, off beat no. on the track for the tap dance too. So we're just gonna oh, oh. let her slide on that one because she is yeah. Miss Paula Abdul. Listen, the whole thing is a mess. <laughs> like, relax. <laughs> Everything is a mess, okay? Yeah. It's a, it's a giant parade of balloons. Like, calm yeah. down. It's it, We're going to be fine. Mariah's got mm -hmm. a gown and a parasol, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, that was just, it was really, really great and good things. And um, I, I think good fashions, good moments, the kids, the whole family thing fun and fabulous i loved all of the thanksgiving and then i even saw um that christian seriano had posted you know some behind the scenes of the gown so you could see like as he was making it and he mm -hmm. also i guess on his website he does sketches of all his gowns 
and he had the Mariah one up for sale for like 500 bucks. You could like the sketch the sketch. Oh, and I was like, Oh my God, I totally would love to have that. But I was like, honey, I can't pay that. Not 500 bucks. No, I mean, it was gorgeous. It was very high, high fashion art, but I was like, no, man. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess that's, if you got the cash. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why not just throw it? I mean, in this economy, yes, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. But anyways, that's just a little tidbit of um, fashion. Did you hear the NFTs are going down the drain? Oh, yes. I heard everything about it. Right? So I, glad I, we didn't I still, buy that boarding pass. I still don't know what any of that means. But yes, I heard all about it. Crashing and no money and billions of dollars and people are and poor. Bankrupts and bankrupts yeah. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh-huh. Yeah. So let's get out of that biz. Yeah. I think after that, um, that last thing that she did, what was it? A, a boarding, a boarding pass? Plane? Oh. She'll never talk about that again. Well, at least those people who bought the boarding pass got something, an experience. Uh, exactly. It not just the just boarding pass. Of, well, I, it's, I was going to say it's not just a piece of paper, but bitch, you didn't even get a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You> got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, speaking of online things and NFTs and whatnot, Mariah announced that she's doing this thing with Booking.com. I'm still, oh, yeah. Can we talk about that for a minute? So it's a, a an experience, a holiday experience, and you get yeah. to um, visit Mariah's house. And it's all done up for Christmas. And it's all decorated. You could do a photo shoot. You could do your Christmas photos there. You get cocktail happy hour um, and all that kind of stuff on Mariah's rooftop decorated for Christmas. I'm not mad. I'm not mad either, but I'm confused. I guess. I don't know. Do you think she got paid? Oh, absolutely. She got paid. Sure. Why not? I mean, she's yeah. opening up her house. I mean, she's not right. going to be there. Obviously, she's going to be in Aspen or she'll be somewhere else because or probably not because she has to do her shows. It's the day of her show. Yeah. The day of the show. Yeah. But she's probably not going back to the house. She's probably just going to go to the show to Aspen. But anyways, Mariah's not going to be there. Right. Exactly. But how come it only costs $20? Is that the starting book, starting price? I think that's the price. And what does she mean? Because did you read all the fine print? No, scared. (laughs) Okay, I read all the fine print, and I still... I looked at the pictures there. They did a great photo shoot. They uh, did the Moroccan room, all Mm -hmm. Christmas-themed. It's $20.19 to book this. Now, with this, you're getting the Mariah's house moment with happy hours, uh, cocktails, and photos. But then you're actually going to stay in, a, like, the penthouse suite at the hotel down the street. And then you mm-hmm. also get, like, a um, – you get to go to the Christmas show. So you can okay. see or do that. And then you also get, like, a, a, a shopping spree at Saks Fifth Avenue. That's cute. So you get all this stuff. And, like, a, you get fl- flown out there. For twenty dollars and nineteen cents, but is it a, a raffle, a competition? Like you pay the twenty bucks, and then one person gets it. Well, that's the thing. It says first come, first serve. So does that mean just the first person who books it? Because I'm thinking, well, or do you? Or if you pay twenty dollars and nineteen cents, do you get your name into a raffle? That's why I'm confused. Because I'm like, you can't. You're not getting all of that for twenty dollars and nineteen cents. No. But it doesn't say it's a raffle. It doesn't say but how do the they recoup the money. Picked. I have no idea. That's why I'm this confused. sounds like this sounds like the Airbnb thing she did. But did do you remember that one? Take, she yeah for like New Year's Eve or something. Yeah, and you get that, like that bubble in Times Square. Yeah, but did we even hear anybody with a personal who message? Got that? No, we heard nothing of that. That was last year, right? Yeah. This year sounds better. I would rather do this, but I still don't. So you're telling me the very first person who books that is the person who gets it? Are we going to have like a well, now I need to investigate this. meltdown on is is the site going to crash? Yeah. That's How do we validate I, that? I I'm, that's why I'm not sure. And for twenty dollars, you get an air flight, a hotel, and Mariah's house. No, that can't be. Mm hmm. If anybody knows, let's circle please back. Know, please. Yeah, can <laughs> someone fill us in? Because I don't know. Because I want to go. I, I got $20. I do. <laughs> so do I have to be there at like midnight on the 14th, the first person to book it? 
Should I, I mean, you might I have to. Up, should I set up my booking.com account right now? I think that's how they get you. Oh, that's how they get you for sure. Because now your email's typed in. Now you're getting the discount. Oh, and they're going to sell my information newsletter. to everyone. Yeah. Of course. That's how they get you. But what if you're the first person? It says first come, first serve. Like, are there like that's, 10 people who could do this or just one? That's the gamble. Well, I'll try. Just we'll get it to win it. I'm, honey, I'll pray. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, pray. I'll do that. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Hopefully. But we'll keep an eye on the, the Christmas decorations look amazing in her house. Yeah. As always, as you expect. Of course. And I hope a lamb gets it. I hope it's not like some random person. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it's a lamb. Because I want to hear all about it. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, we'll keep you updated on that. We do. Uh, before we get to the next topic, we have a big announcement. Oh, yes. Please tell the people. Tell the people. Back by popular demand. People kept asking for, for it. So we caved in. We crumbled. The merch store is back. The official Mariah Report merch store is up and running. We've got a new merch drop in there right now. Yes. New looks. At the Go to themariahreport.com. The link is in the, in the description. Check it out. There's some cute stuff. I'm, if you're watching the YouTube video, I'm wearing the hoodie right now. It's super luxe. Good hood. A, we love a good hood. <laughs> it's got a good hood on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's all the sales from that go to supporting us at the Mariah Report, supporting the show, keeping it running. Absolutely. Um, and, and you, you get some cute fashions. That's the fashions. We love that. And another way that you can support is just by um, subscribing, all of those good things. But also we have our Patreon. So if you go to mm -hmm. patreon.com slash the Mariah report for as little as $5, you can help support the show and you'll get all like the behind the scenes goodies and all of our Mariah adjacent conversations. <laughs> yes. That's actually a fun time. So you basically get this episode ad free. Do we have ads? At some point there's ads. Some, somewhere. Sometimes we have ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. But you, get this, <laughs> yeah. but you get this ad, ad free and you also get like the pre-show and sometimes an after show and like during the ad breaks, like we chat and stuff. And so you get unedited raw audio just dropped straight onto Patreon. There's a really fun community community over there. And we read the comments from each week's episode and there's a really fun back and forth happening. Um, so go check it out. Join up. You can cancel anytime. Um, and that also helps. Yes. And sometimes um, over there on Patreon, we even get words on the street. You there's know, been some good ones. There's some good ones. Lambs are all over the world here, and they'd be reporting yeah. back to us. Um, and uh, so that will bring us to our next topic of Mariah and Peloton. I know. So we first saw Mariah cycling over there on the Peloton bike for her little thing or Halloween into November 1st moment. Clue number one. Yes. So we knew something was happening there. Exhibit and then there was yes. also a lot of um, twittering back and forth uh -huh. between Mariah and Peloton. Yeah, so that no was interaction. Like, okay, what's going on? What's happening? Exhibit B. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Exhibit C, we had one of our Patreon members say that Mariah may or may not have made an appearance in the Peloton studio with that man who's famous at Peloton. Right. I don't know his name. Now, if you don't, don't know what Peloton is, because I think it might be more of an American experience. I don't know if, if the international it's listeners not, quite know. It's not worldwide? I don't think it is. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. We'll tell the people But basically, before the pandemic, there was just like this at-home exercise bike, and it has like a screen on it. And then anybody who knows what Soul Cycle is, like these group bike classes where you go to the do some biking, and then someone's yelling at you, and they're say inspirational things and yeah it you know. involves a lot of sweating as well and yelling and sweating yeah uh so it was like an at-home version of that it was around for a couple of years and then the pandemic happened all of a sudden everybody wanted a peloton so it blew up became yes. super popular exercise they're very expensive they're like four thousand dollars for a bike uh -huh. and and you have to pay like if you want like the videos and everything you have mm -hmm. to pay like a monthly subscription because then you have like a, yes. an instructor on the video screen sort of instructing you. Right. And so during the pandemic, a lot of these instructors became very famous because people are exercising and it's just something to do. Yes. But in here we are with Mariah now is there because yes. they always do like these, they do like playlists 
and yes, DJ yes. sets um, for like, you know, the cycle or whatever they do. I'm not even quite sure. I don't have one, so I don't know. But right. um, they now are doing an artist series with Mariah. So it's basically a bunch of different workouts that you can do. I think there's more than just cycling. You can also do like, there's like a weight training or a cardio or something like that. I don't, I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. very unfamiliar with exercise, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> but they have like these DJ playlists of all Mariah's music to go mm -hmm. to coincide with the exercise. Mm -hmm. That's fun, yes. right? Huge. Yeah. P most people do it now because it's just like a way to get music Catch, capture a music audience, I guess. Yeah. But, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's not just regular Mariah songs. They have been remixed by a DJ. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm well, in your boat. Okay. I'm not owning a Peloton. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you know, please comment below on the YouTube or wherever. But I do think because we follow somebody on social media and he is a DJ and he says, like, he made, like, a little story saying, oh, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mariah did that video announcing the Peloton. Remember where she was in that, like, sort of semi-see-through dress? Announcing the Peloton? Yeah, she was like, it's time. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yes, yes, know, yes. And she yes. was in that dress that we in talked the black about dress. A, few, yes. a few weeks ago. Yes. He, he reposted that, the DJ did, and he said, oh, I can finally let you guys know that I've done, I've been working on the Mariah remixes for the Peloton Artist Series. Oh, see, I think that mean doesn't mean he remixed it. I think he just DJed it he, together, he blended it, curated it. Right. Oh, okay. Well, that could be that could be true as well. But wouldn't okay. it be better if it was like DJed? No, I think it's DJed, but I don't think he like did. There's not like DJ Peloton's mix. Like, there's not his mix of it. Oh, it's of not. these songs. Okay. Well, I could just do that and do sit ups at my house. Why do I got have to? Why would I want to do Peloton? I can make a Mariah playlist. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well some people saying, don't have... I'm just thinking, like, isn't that, like, the whole this thing... This is how we it... spread the brand. <laughs> this is how we get out there. Uh -huh. Someone else has to do it. Okay. Well, must be nice. <laughs> well, listen, listen to this. Um, as of January 2022, Peloton has over 5.9 million members. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Okay. So, big audience. Yeah. We love that, then. Uh -huh. And people yep. can choose the Mariah workout. And then, of course, Mariah did make an appearance in the Peloton studio. The um, mystery of the mesh top mm -hmm. solved. Yes, exactly. What was she doing in that mesh top? We now know. Yes. So she was there. There was also Bowen Yang was there with, yes. the, with the famous guy, the Peloton guy. Right. Um, and she was doing hitting the little high notes and singing the little sugar plum high notes. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. was like, all right, girl. Is that all she's doing, though? It was kind of cute. Like, I thought... I loved it, but, like... It was kind of kitschy and cute. Like, whatever. Is she going to get on the bike? Is she going to listen okay. to the playlist? Well, our listener, Brandon Peach, sent us some intel. Okay. Okay. What's what's the 411? Um, so, they say, this Peloton Artist series thing Mariah is doing is very cool. I'm watching it now because oh. the app has a free trial and the hosts of the classes are talking about Mariah and her history and achievements. Oh. They're touching on her style evolution, genre crossing, and so much more. It's very lamb centric. They're even playing some cool remixes like love hangover and the don't forget about us. Uh, I'm oh getting God. no bike or nothing just, but it's cute. Okay. So you can watch the, you can get the app Do it without <laughs> You don't need the app. Honey, right. a free trial? I had no idea. The good old sign up and cancel. Honey, I'm, that's, I guess that's what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can watch it, I guess. Okay. That's the point. On the app. All right. Well, there we have it then. On the app, yes. Because yes. so, uh, those classes are like an hour. So I wonder, I wonder if she's standing there for the whole hour or 45 minutes. I, I, well, I'm gonna, well, I will report next week. When I yes, yeah, that's everybody's homework assignment. Yeah. Everybody's homework is to get the Peloton app. <laughs> and tell us what is up. Tell us what is up. Um, we'll discuss it next week. Now, the other big thing that happened this week is Mariah became um, the cover of another magazine. It's been a while. I know, right? Yeah. It's, but it's she been a long was... while, but honey. 
on the cover of W Magazine. Yes, we love it. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the fashion magazine. And they gave us a good spread. Yes, good photo shoot. Great photo shoot. Some of the photos are some of my favorites I've seen in a long, long while. Um, but of course, we could, we as lambs could easily see that she's referencing previous photos, right? I know, but you know, I get bent out of shape by these like recreation moments. I know, but these are these are pretty good. I'm gonna say these okay. are good ones. I mean, they she look did them good, like angels or memoirs or something. Like they, I was were mad good, at that. But now I'm like, mm, were they that good? I don't know. See what I mean? <coughs> um. But this one, I wasn't like so mad because I was thinking, okay, Joe Schmo doesn't know what these are. Right. They're not going to get the reference, but we get the reference. Yeah. And it's a subtle reference. It's not very clear. I mean, maybe the Daydream one is pretty, pretty in your face. That was a good one, though. You, that's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> but then the other one with the golden, with the golden background and she's turned to her side. Doing the fur. That one's a gorgeous yeah. photo. That's a good photo. That is a good photo. I was trying to get it to be on my phone, my lock screen. It's oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. I love that photo. That's a good photo. Well, see, that was like a copy of a photo shoot. Not an iconic moment. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. But so that's I'm less, why, less mad at that one. That's why that one works. Because like, if you, if you get the subtle nod to the mm -hmm. original photo, then you get it. But if you don't, it's okay because it stands alone beautiful and amazing and to me i think that's one of the best shots she's done in a while yes looks great it. i'm like great, that, great, that great. should have been the cover i know i like the cover too i mean i like the cover too it's kind of rainbow-esque yes it was giving us the rainbow pose moments so yeah. it was giving us that with the jeans you know because the 90s are back around and like i think early 2000s are starting to creep in it would have been cute if she just took the top off i know right like that would have really done it yeah. But I don't know. Like she just but she did the hold them down. And here's the thing. If you look at some of the rainbow era photographs, the photo mm -hmm. shoots, some of the some of them don't have the jeans cut because I they, know. they did it like in the middle of a photo shoot. So if you really right. do your research, you can find photos from the rainbow era where the top of the jeans are not cut off. And those are those are the rarities. Particularly the thank God I found you photo shoot. Yes, where she just had them rolled down, so she was down doing the same with the tank top. Mm -hmm. Recreating fashion. Yeah, she looks beautiful. I loved it. I mean, looking great. They're all good. Nothing turned out bad. No, I loved it. Now, here's the thing. I thought that this was just an online magazine, but I've seen that Lambs actually have it, and I was like, oh, it's print. Yes, yes. it is. It is in print. So I'm like, I have to go get this. I have to. Find and it's it. big too. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. So this one is for my collection, girl. I got to go get like two copies. <laughs> yes. I'm going to, because you know where that little magazine stand is. They got to have um, it. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely have it. The, oh, there's a magazine stand in the Grove. And it's not the Barnes & Noble. It's more towards the farmer's market. Oh, it really? And they had older W magazines. So they'll definitely have the new one. Oh, then the, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm FYI. I'm going to get me some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, it is in print because I thought it was just an online thing because I, I haven't seen a W magazine in forever, but I guess mm -hmm. I just haven't been looking. But the article right. was also very, very good. It was. It yeah, was. She talked about some good things. Um, I think the standout thing that um, got my ears perked up was that she was talking to Solange on the phone. Right. I was now like, I have been going through my own personal Solange phase recently, like getting into or I was late to Cranes, her Solange's out of them, Cranes. I'm just now into it now. Uh, and I loved the true EP when it was out. Yes, so now I'm, just, that, now I'm mm -hmm. just on Solange kick. So when she said she was talking to Solange, I was like, oh, this would be awesome if they did something together. That would be amazing. Yeah. That would be good collaboration. Because on Solange's true EP, which you also listen to, there's a song called, I think, Hurricanes or Cyclone or something. And I'm pretty sure that was um, with Blood Orange. Oh, really? So there's that friend connection mm. right there. You I know? So I would love some sort of, I would love that vibe to get transferred to Mariah. I would the be Solange, down that as well. Blood Orange vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, honey, bring it on. Bring it on. I'm ready for it. And you know, the Solange also has a ballet at Lincoln Center. Oh, yes, I did. I did. I did hear about that. Yeah. With the yes. New York City Ballet. Exactly. Yeah. She's up with the fine arts now. Fine. Fine. Fine arts, yes. Civilized, sophisticated exactly. arts. So this is what we need Mariah involved with. I do love that. I do love that. Well, speaking mm-hmm. of Mariah being involved with things, there was another sort of major headline um, uh, for all the musical um, the, the musical uh, nerds out there, I guess. The Broadway babies. Mm. Mariah. Is, oh, uh, gosh. Yes. You, we girl, didn't even talk about this. Yet. Honey, come on. Come on. Big news. Okay. Big Big news. Now, we, because I think it was just over the summer um, when we were talking about why isn't Mariah producing a Broadway show? Because we know that Jennifer Hudson, um, she just became an EGOT because she mm-hmm. got a Tony for um, Michael R. Jackson's um, play because she was a producer. Mm-hmm. And I was yes. like, well, Mariah should do that. Now that's how you're going. That's how Mariah's going to get it. We're not going to catch Mariah in a five nights a week Broadway show. No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. No, she's got. But to be if home she can be it. producing behind mm-hmm. the scenes, exactly. That's how you get your tea. Yes, you got. You fund the money. You produce. You there. You have it. Give some input. Yes, and and this is the perfect show for Mariah because yes, um, it's some like it hot. I didn't know that this was going to Broadway. But didn't they have, hear about it. They yeah. have a new, new sort of like updated version of that, and it's a Marilyn Monroe classic movie, so it only makes sense that Mariah would be involved. Yeah, and I think based off the artwork, I think there's going to be, be black actors in it too. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So a whole different take on it. So yeah, I think the perfect thing for Mariah to be involved in. I mean, it just makes sense. I yes. love it. I love it. I love it. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. I can't wait. And that's supposed to, when, do we know when that's coming out? Um, uh, usually it's, this cur- like a... it's actually currently in previews at the Schubert Theater, but it opens, oh, see, here's when it opens. It opens on Sunday, December 11th. So all you lambs going to New York City, honey. That's soon. You got to get, you got to get a show. You got to get a ticket to the show. You know, you gotta for your little New York trip. You would be like, go to see Mariah at Madison Square Garden, go see um, the Broadway know, show, Broadway show, all of that kind of stuff. Yes. So, um, yeah, absolutely. And the other thing is, um, the music is done by Mark Shaman. We love Mark we Shaman. We love Mark Shaman from "Merry Christmas to You" and a few other songs. Like, we love that. Yes. Yes. The star. Oh yes. Uh huh. Absolutely. What's um, the one I love with the strings on Merry Christmas to You? Oh, um, When Christmas um, Comes. Christmas Time is in the Air Christmas Again. Christmas Time is in the Air Again. All of those. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes. Good um, song. But also Mariah uh, released a quote when they announced that she's going to be um, producing it. So I just want to say, because she was like, um, when Neil shared this new take on the beloved film, I knew I had to be a part of it to see how this show continues to expand on the film's legacy, pushing boundaries, promoting inclusion, celebrating diversity. I am proud to help bring some like it hot for today's world to new audiences. Mm-hmm. I love that. Do you think she's going to put, give any input on the music, Probably, the singing, the vocals? I mean, Probably not. I think, again, Mariah's just sort of like putting her name and money behind it. I don't know if she's going to be involved um, with the lyrics and things like that, because I, I'm pretty sure all that stuff is already written. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if she wanted to, you know, she could be like, yeah, throw this song in there or something. Mm. But I think all that kind of stuff is especially because it's already going to be in previews. All that stuff is already done. It's done. But do we know? Maybe she was, you know, she's been banished all year long. Maybe she was sitting at the Broadway theater well, giving directions. Well, that's true. We, we never know. But however, like with all the press releases that were released, I would think they would mention something like they that. They would have mentioned. Yeah, so, you're right. Yeah. You're right. But you're anyways, right. when you're over there in the NYC lambs, y'all got to go see some Like It Hot. Okay, but things are looking good for our EGOT now because Mark Shaman gets her nominations, award nominations. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. He is, he is a beloved composer. Back to the Golden Globes dress. <laughs> she was wearing that for the Mark Shaman song. Exactly, yes. 
Um, okay, so that was another big thing this week. So something else to track now else for the to rest look of the year. There are other other things coming out coming out. Um, we have we got some behind the th- scenes Thanksgiving moments from Mariah with Black Irish. Yes, um, yes. She did a little video saying they don't have anointed greens this year, but they may do without it. Now, where do you think that was? That wasn't her apartment, was it? No, that looked like it was a, a hotel. Like a like hotel? Off of okay. like, you know, near Macy's. Because uh, you can also see Brian's um, Instagram stories. No. Okay, well, before. What's happening over there? Well, he was, you know, he's not on there very often now. Uh-huh. But you could tell that like before the show, before the parade, he was out walking the streets. And he was, oh, yeah. he was just doing like regular little, you know, Instagram stories, but you could tell it was like, okay, well, they're staying in a hotel somewhere over there. Cause then at the very last, he was out in the streets and then he mm-hmm. posted a thing. He was at a hotel with the dogs watching football. Ah. And so that's probably where they were having their Thanksgiving dinner as well. In the hotel. In the hotel. So somewhere over there. Makes sense. Yeah. And then, then I think like the next night, didn't they go out to dinner and Mariah wore like that leopard coat and stuff. They did, yeah. yeah. They went somewhere. More Mariah's fashions. been hitting hitting the streets with fashion as well, okay? Because I'm telling you that telling you New York Mariah is where we need to be. Honey, she's in the streets. She is yeah. serving it. She is giving us moments. She's giving. Sorry, us Atlanta. Books. Yeah, no, she can't be sitting in the house over there in Atlanta. Listen, we gave it a try. We tried it out. Does it's not for us? <laughs> we wish everyone well. <laughs> yeah, the butterfly lounge sounded cute, but whatever. We got what we we needed from it. It's all on yes. video, so we'll just yeah. do what we need with that. Um, but back to New York. Also, um, was stepping out because she's going to be making an appearance on the Colbert Show, Stephen Colbert. Yeah, mm-hmm. which comes out December seventh. Mm-hmm. And she was giving us um, breast moments, mm-hmm. big hair moments, all our favorite things. All our, love it. Double slits of the dress on the side, so she's giving us leg moments. <laughs> Honey, she gave us all the moments. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I'm serious. We're really easily entertained around here. It, uh, Mariah has to do very little, and we are <laughs> we're set. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, she's doing like a little um, segment on the Stephen Colbert show, apparently, where she answers uh, like. Uh, they do this with a lot of celebrities where they like answer like a series of questions and things. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see what she comes up with. Cause there's like stupid questions like apples or oranges, what's mm-hmm. your favorite sandwich? But then mm-hmm. there's other things like, what do you think happens when you die? Or like when somebody dies, like what happens or um, where do you see yourself in 10 years or stuff like that? So it's like uh-huh. a nice little mix. I can't wait to see. Okay, that'd be cute. Yes, December 7th. I'm already seeing that chopped up and on YouTube, so it'll be available for everybody. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some nice little moments from it. Um, There's a bunch of other little things that are going on, but I think the other sort of popular one, with the kids at least, is Mariah's Mm -hmm. doing this big, like, is it a video game, the Roblox? No, I think it's virtual reality, the metaverse. Oh. Like you need headsets to get oh, in there. to get in to see the roblox yes and what do you do just walk around and run into people <laughs> <laughs> i think we're heading into like nft territory where we don't know <laughs> we might need someone to explain what roblox is to us but mariah's doing a mini concert series or something <laughs> something digital produced by rock and roll Okay, now isn't that interesting? Is that like a the new family brand? business? Family business is that a new, uh, you know, branch of the Mariah, you know, business? Are they doing their own little production? For the it kids? seems like they are. All right, uh, honey, if you're living under this roof, yeah, someone's got to pay the light bill. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> new York City rent. Do you know how expensive it is these days? Uh, inflation? Kids? Are you kidding me? Yes, honey. <laughs> Exactly. So, um, well, I guess if you have Roblox or if you have kids, that's something. Wait, Roblox is a thing you got to get? I think, yeah. Oh. <coughs> How else do you go there? I don't know. You, what is <laughs> it? Roblox.com? What is it? I thought you got to put goggles on and look around. Okay, well, where do you get the goggles? Uh, I don't know. 
girl, don't get Amazon. Us old people over here talking about Roblox gunning because I mean, it's going to go down NFT territory. We have no idea. <laughs> But I think the whole point is somehow you get into the metaverse and then Mariah's going to do a concert every night. Yeah, like the 20th, the 21st, 22nd, like right that, that week of Christmas. Yeah. I just hope somebody puts it up on, just put it on YouTube so I can watch it because <laughs> otherwise I'm, I'm just going to miss out on this whole thing. I'm going to miss the train. But I don't think it's Mariah Mariah. I think it's like... It's a cartoon. Avatar Mariah. Yeah. Avatar Mariah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's something uh, to look forward to for the people who and know how to get into Roblox, Roblox neighborhood or whatever. Oh, I think, is it like Second Life or The Sims? What remember is that? that? Do you remember Second Life was that thing people got obsessed with and you could like make a virtual, it was like a virtual 3D world in the computer? No. I know The Sims and then the I not I don't know. I've never done The Sims, but I know of it. Uh, like, I don't know. I think it's like a virtual reality version of that. You just go in to it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? Nothing. But okay, but what is giving me with it? Flash. <laughs> my hesitations are is giving me flashbacks of one the app Butterfly Water app, and oh that virtual reality hologram tour she did in Europe. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. For T-Mobile. See, but I, but isn't Roblox very popular, though? Those other things, like the butterfly water thing like that, didn't work. Um, the other thing that you were talking about didn't work. But mm -hmm. people already know this. This is like an established thing, right? I don't know. Listeners, do you guys know? Everybody. who? Can someone explain to us? Yes, please. We, we, we need the NFT people who helped us with the NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the Roblox. <laughs> Come back, please. Uh, I, don't, don't, I don't know anything about it, but anyways. Um, yeah, this is, where the, this is where the listeners come in handy. Yes, you have to help us sometimes. Yeah. We're not always with everything. Come on now. Um, but other than that, those are like the main things that's been happening with Mariah. Um, mm -hmm. So we got a lot of stuff coming up. We'll keep busy, busy. Keep you updated. It's officially Christmas season. It's December, so we can get into it Yes, and not yes, be embarrassed. Yes. Well, before we go, I guess we should give an update on what's happening with All I Want for Christmas is You in the charts. Success. Okay. Success all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> as usual. As, as, as per usual, yes. <laughs> um, because it debuted last week on the Billboard Hot 100 at, like, number 25. This mm -hmm. week, it made a huge jump up to number five. So it's already mm -hmm. number five. Mm -hmm. um, it's like number one on all the digital, you know, streamings and everything like that. So it's only going to go higher, but everybody this week is very worried about Brenda Lee's rocking around the Christmas tree is like right on, oh, on the tail one, on the tail. So I we're going to see what happens. And then we got <sighs> Miss Taylor Swift over there at number one. Mm -hmm. So we got to see who's going to, who's going to get that number one next week. The thing is, with Taylor Swift, there's only one way to go now for her, and that's down, down. the list. Bye. Like she had her moment, so yay for her. We love but move over, move. You, you got to just. It's Christmas. Yeah, come it's on. our turn. So, I mean, here's the thing: if, even if Mariah doesn't make it to number one this week, girl, it's still the first week of December. We, yeah, Christmas. Uh, she she'll be number one by Christmas. Right. No, it's like minimum. It's not even not even a question. Right, right, right. Oh. The other day I was leaving um, the office in Times... So I got a, I'm got. i working in Times Square right now. I walk out the door. It's like cold and rainy. Um, and right in Times Square, I hear like someone playing... I hear the opening chords of All I Want for Christmas. I was like, can you memorize all of that Little Mariah right now? I was like, Little Mariah, look, yes. check it out. Yes. <laughs> Your song is in Times Square on the street. That's where you want to be. Yes, that's it. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Young, old, and everything in between. So it's the season. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And aren't there like big billboards of um, Black Irish over in Times Square somewhere? I've seen them. Somewhere. People have seen them. I haven't seen them with my eyes yet. Mm. But apparently it's hard to find it in the city. The actual, black, oh, really? the actual drink. Yes. Oh, interesting. 
Black Irish people? What's up with that? Yeah, come on. Because, oh, they're over there on the social media all the time, the Black Irish. They're right. posting, 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 um, all that kind of stuff. Mariah took a, that photo on Thanksgiving with everybody drinking the Black Irish. Um, Do you know how to investigate? Because there's a big liquor store right by me. I'm going to dip in there to see what they got. They have to have it somewhere. If they don't have it at this one next to me, then it's not in Manhattan. Okay. Which one? That one. Um, you know it. It's the big one. Okay. By the ABC on Columbus Avenue. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sixty-seven wine or something. It's called. Okay. They have to have double it. double story. That's where Kylie Minogue did her meet and greet. Yes. Or yes. Or her wine. wine. Mm hmm. I know it. That place. Yeah. If they don't have it, then no one has it. But here in LA, they have it. At the Venmo. I don't remember day one they had it. Oh, absolutely. Well, didn't Mariah do like a little video um, for Puff Go or Go Puff and Me- Bevmo? She did a little thing. When? She was in, wearing the green dress. I think this was like a week or two ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yes. like a little sidebar that we didn't mention because we were on Yeah. Break. But she was in like a little green dress and whatnot, right? But wasn't that the recycle from the year before? Yes, but this was a new new clip. It was a, new a new clip, clip of it. Yes, but it yes, was, yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but but yes. she was out there saying like, so Bevmo has it, um, but they don't have Bevmo out where you guys are. No. See, but it's also at the liquor store, not the liquor store, the grocery store here. It's at the grocery store. It's all over the place in LA. Yeah, you can find it. Why very not here? Easily. I don't know. I think that. Especially if they're going to have like huge billboards of it. Billboard, and you got every lamb in the land coming to town. Exactly. I mean, they want the Black Irish. Honey, they ha- should have a ba- Black Irish table at Madison Square Garden. Dan, I don't think we're thinking properly. We should be setting up a racket of Black Irish. <laughs> <laughs> we should be setting up a stand <laughs> here in Manhattan yes, in two weeks. <laughs> we absolutely we should. We're not thinking. We're not on. The, we're on, not yeah. on top of things. <laughs> Can we buy in bulk? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, so anyways, hopefully it'll be there, um, for the lambs when they are in town. That's my, that's my homework for the week. Investigate the Black Irish yes, situation absolutely. here in Manhattan. Um, and then the other thing to mention, if the lambs are in town, they're going to the Madison Square Garden. They're going to some like it hot. They should also go to our favorite local resident, Mariah Friendly Bar, Rise Bar, because they're doing Mariah Nights. Tuesday and Wednesday. Yes. So what's that, the... 13th and the 14th yeah the tuesday after the concert so that'll be a really fun time i might just pop in even though i'm not going i might just pop in to rice yeah, just down the street like, hey lambs what's up yeah see what's up yes, how's the show of course yeah uh so that'll be a fun time there's a whole bunch of mariah parties happening so you know check your local listings <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, whatever honey new york is going all mariah all, all mariah. mariah so it's gonna yeah. be mariah fest definitely um so yeah check it out there's you might even be able to do a Mariah event tour. The p- several things are happening that night. Yes, you got to go here, here, there, there, and everywhere. There's a lot of Mariah things happening. So uh-huh. uh, the lambs are going to have fun. I'm almost a little jealous. Super fun, super fun. Yes. But anyways, all right, that will wrap it up for this week's episode of the Mariah Report. Yes, indeed. Don't forget, we would love your support for this podcast. And you can do that for free by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. You can just write a few lines, a few words, put some emojis in, hit the five stars. And I know it doesn't seem like much, but it actually helps the show a lot, helps us grow, helps get our star rating up there. And if you want to throw some dollars our way, you can always join our Patreon page. Five bucks a month. You can cancel at any time. You get bonus content. There's tons of stuff over there now. Yes. And the link is in the description. So just check it out. Can- yes. uh, like and I said, of course, uh, the merch, the merch. You can get the merch. Merch is back. Go yes. check out themariahreport.com as well. Just have a look. Go browsing. Have a look. It's cute over there. It's cute. If you need a little it's, sweater, we got gotcha. you. Like, I'm wearing it right now. I'm telling you, it's good. It's a good hoodie. We love a good hood. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We will be back next week. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, 
Visit the show notes in your podcast app.